Kim Jong-un and Putin meet at the Cosmodrome, their heads in the stars and their gaze towards Ukraine. Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In a meeting that was seen as a sign of growing cooperation between Russia and North Korea, Kim Jong-un and Vladimir Putin met at the Vostokny Cosmodrome in Russia on September 13, 2023. The meeting took place against the backdrop of the ongoing war in Ukraine, and it is likely to have far-reaching implications for the region. The two leaders discussed a range of issues during their meeting, including military cooperation, the war in Ukraine, and the sanctions imposed on Russia by the West. They also agreed to strengthen their ties in the face of these challenges. Kim Jong-un said that he and Putin had discussed ways to strengthen cooperation in all areas, including the economy, politics, culture, and military. He also said that they had agreed to work together to oppose the unilateral sanctions and pressure imposed by the United States and its allies. Putin, for his part, said that the meeting had been constructive and productive, and that he and Kim Jong-un had agreed to continue our close cooperation. The meeting between Kim Jong-un and Putin is a significant development in the ongoing crisis in Ukraine. It is a sign of growing cooperation between Russia and North Korea, and it is likely to further complicate the situation. The two countries are both under sanctions from the West, and they may be looking to each other for support as they navigate the increasingly complex geopolitical landscape. The meeting between Kim Jong-un and Putin is a reminder that the world is a complex and ever-changing place. The two leaders may be looking to the stars, but their gaze is also towards Ukraine. The future of the region is uncertain, but it is clear that the meeting between Kim Jong-un and Putin is a significant development that will have far-reaching implications. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos.